Hey, what's going on? This is EJ Uno, and I am back with a review on the Metro Cool Pad Legacy. This is a nice, nice phone that I picked up. The deal is with this phone, because you know I got to bring the real deal, is you can get this phone for a uh, $29. I was about to say $100. It's worth $179. They have it slashed for $29 at Metro PCS right now. When you switch to Metro from any other different company that isn't T Mobile related. So, as I always say, like, you know what I'm saying? If you come from Boosh, you come from Verizon, Sprint, uh, like that, you can get this phone for uh, $29. If you're not coming from and you just want to pick up this phone, it's $129. $179, $129. It's at T Mobile and Metro PCS. Metro PCS has it. For $29 when you switch over, I say $29 and keep on saying it because I recommend you switch. You know, whether you're on a prepaid service, contract service, you can get it for $29 when you switch. Okay, so getting into this phone, you know what I'm saying? But before I do that, don't forget to hit the notification. Don't forget to hit the bell. Watch the full movie, show, whatever you want to call it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So... Getting into it, like I said, this is the CoolPad Legacy. It is a 4G LTE enabled with Android 9, the latest Android 9 Pi software coming with it, OS. It's a 6.3, 6.36 centimeter phone, almost a 6.4 phone. That's really big. Full HD plus display, 16 megapixel plus 5 with AI camera on it. Uh, I have a couple pictures I'm going to show you at the end of the this right here to show you how the camera is. It's um, pretty nice. I put it alongside my V30 LG and it's, um, it competes really good though. The camera's really nice. It has a 13 megapixel front facing camera, 32 um, ROM, 3 gigabytes of RAM. That's one more gig other than the LG Style of 4 as far as RAM. And they have 32 gigabytes of um, internal storage. But with CoolPad, I haven't tested it yet. But I'm pretty sure with a phone like this, when you put an SD card on it, it adapts storage, which means that it takes on, I have said in plenty of my videos, it takes on the internal storage and the SD storage and combines it as one. So you have like, it's like you buying 128, uh, 64 plus the 32, whatever uh, SD card you have, it adapts to storage and look that up. Okay, if you, if I'm not explaining it correctly. Um, it has 1.8 gig octa-core processor. It is C-type charging and um, in it, you know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. Okay, so right in here, we'll take the box down. Okay, so we got the phone right here. I'm going to get right into that. Set up there. Hopefully, don't slide over. Okay, get the cool pad pamphlet right here. Get some more pamphlets, instructions. Let you know about cool pad. Comes with a. Oh, it has 3.0 fast charge. That's uh, that's. That's, that's really good. I mean, it, it charges really, really fast. It has a 4,000 milliamp battery as well. Um, this is a pretty big brick. It don't say nothing on it. Oh, it says on the bottom. Hold on a minute. I don't know. Uh, yeah, 3.0. 3. Yeah, I'm saying. Charging on it right there. So let me see. Bring this up so you can focus on it. Yeah. Like that. Um, you got nice, it's pretty nice. C-type charging right there. See the port right there. Yeah. So, got that going on. Okay, so look at the phone right here as we get into it. Let me take this thing off. Okay, so again, yeah, look around the phone. This is a nice, let me turn it on, nice six, almost 6.4 screen. 
Um, it's a lot of things to this I want to show you guys. Okay, so 6.4, um, I think it's 18 by 9 ratio. Um, the, the resolution is 2225 by 1080. That's, that's nice resolution. Um, taking a look at the back of it, you got double lens, as it was telling you, 16 and 5 right there with a LED flash and a fingerprint sensor. And, you know, it has a nice little thing going around, like a cool pad. That's, that's really nice. So, cool pad came a long way because I, I remember seeing a couple cool pad phones and they were not up to date, but they really they really did it when they did this right here. On the side right now, they, you got your ejection um, tool to, oh, that's what comes in the box too, to poke it out so you can get your SD card and SIM card in there. On the other side, you got the volume rocker and you have your power button. And at the bottom, you have your speakers in the middle. You got your C-type charging right there, but only one's the speaker. I tested it out, put my finger on it, and you can. I'll let you hear the sound of it. Um, and let me see. Okay, so oh, let me okay. I'll turn it on right there. Okay, as you see, it has uh, excuse me, allergies. It has face unlock on it. So as I look at it, gotta hit it. It's pretty fast though, like, like in the dark it has it where you, if it's um, with the 9, the Android 9 Pi OS, it uses the screen as a light in the dark so it can lighten up your face. So in the dark it can unlock it as well. Face unlock is, it's, I went, well I'll take that back. It, well yeah it is fast, I'm sorry about to say it's not fast, but it just looked at me when I turned it on and it's pretty fast. The fingerprint is pretty good. Right there, it takes a little bit of seconds. Uh, let me put my finger on it. Do that again. Off. On. You see my finger from the side right here. Let's do it. Right there. Let me see. Put my full finger. So okay, yeah. So you see, it's it's doing it. It's 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 doing the job. Um, hopefully they get a software bug fix with it. You know, what I'm saying to speed up a little bit things faster. Swipe to the side, you get your Google Now, and you get your little Metro um, notification thing right there as well. Keep on swiping, as you see, you swipe up to get your app drawer right there. Pre-installed with a lot of different Metro and Google apps because it's a Google-based um, OS. Um, let me see what else I can say about this. You know, you got your camera up there letting you know about the the 13 megapixel camera right there. Take a look at the camera wise so you can see it through what I'm seeing it. As you see, it's as you see, I'm putting it up to this screen right now. You see how clear it's looking. I got a five o'clock shadow shadow right now, but yeah, you see the camera. It's really nice. Um, on the edges, you see the antenna bands right there to get a good signal right there, and you see it's not that thick and it's not that thin it's like right there in the middle but it kind of makes it look like it because it has like a little curve to it right there yeah so that's really nice and then um actually you know what let me just show you some pictures right now so i can just show you some pictures of it so that's me and my like broken little lamp i got that's in um oh it has um let me go into the camera app you know you got video right there to this video Get photo, get portrait mode. That's what I was just doing. The camera, the they saw the picture of the lamp right there, and you got a uh, night mode right there. Yeah, so that's a couple things you got to it. Um, going back to the photo, it comes. You got a little exciting things right there. You got panoramic, and you got slow motion. Hopefully, like they. I don't know how good they are with updates, but you know, hopefully they, they can add a little bit more to it. This is a decent phone. Um, hey, for twenty nine dollars, it's a great phone. <laughs> it's a, I'll, I would use this for like my backup phone just in case anything ever happened to my LG, and this just to have it just in case. But it's yeah, it's it's really nice. You pull it to the you pull the toggles down at the top. Um, let me see. You go across. As you see, you get your Wi Fi. You got your flashlight. Um, you can cast on this phone. For y'all who don't know what 
casting is. Um, casting is when you can watch a show, play a game or something like that. And let's say you have a Google, you have a Fire Stick, you can cast it from the phone to the TV and play. They have night mode, so when your eyes, if it's too much for your eyes, you can like dim it down. Um, got a hotspot um, themed screenshot right there. Um, and then let's go to, let me show you that it's on Android 9. Okay, so it's letting you know right there, let you guys give it a little more. So Android 9 right there, so when it checks it, let you know about that, let you know about the, it has gestures. Oh, another thing they have on here is um, am, uh, notification through AMOLED, which means is on higher end phones like the Samsung, the LG's, uh, the Google's phone. You know how when you have a black screen and you get notifications, and it'll let you know, and it'll give you notification without the phone being on, it has that ability too. So let me see if I know how to get there right now when I do it. You go to the settings, not the reset. Let me get out of here. I think you go to some ability. No, no, that was in there. Let me see. Maybe it's in display stands. Oh, here it goes. It's in display stands right there. So as you let me get out of there. So as you see, it's telling you right there, right. It's right right there. So yeah. So when you get notification, it just pops up. I try to do it like how Motorola does it, and have it pop up like that, but it didn't. Oh, let me. My mom's calling me. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, I try to do it like this, but it only it only happens when you get like a. It's only it only is going to happen when you get a notification in. Oh, at the top, you get your mic and you get your headphone jack, something that you don't see a lot of phones with right now either. So yeah, so that's a look around this phone right now. That you guys know, it's on T-Mobile. I got this from Metro PCS because it's on Metro right now too, and go pick you up one. You know, you can go out your pocket and pay $129, $179 and get this phone. But why do that when you can just go pick up a SIM card from somewhere, store it with AT&T for like a, for like in a couple minutes, then go to, go to <laughs> Metro right now and then switch over and get it for $29 out of pocket. If you're adding it to a family plan, you pay less. But if you're starting off with your own self, then you're going to pay $50 plus the $29 plus activation. So I recommend you find a family member who already has Metro and just to add it to your line. But if you really want them, you really, you really, either way, you're not going to pay for the uh, over even a, even $90 for this phone. Like whether you do it by yourself, whether you do it with your family. So I recommend this phone. Uh, it, I mean, it's not the best, best top notch phone out there, but Hey, for, for the price and it's big, it's up to date, everything I recommend it. So um, go pick you up one. This is EJ Uno, and I'm out. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the 10,000 views I got on the X323. Go check it out. And I appreciate all that. So I'll be back again. EJ, you know, I'm out.